Hi, I've been asked uh, by a few of you to explain some of the detail from uh, the various uh, things that the government are putting out into the ether at the moment to help businesses survive the next few months. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly go over those and then I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview as to what I would do or what, what in fact I am doing and potentially how you could think about things uh, to help you get through. Uh, so quickly, uh, and just excuse me for reading this, but uh, and I'll explain them. So there's the uh, coronavirus job retention scheme. This is where you will get or can get uh, up to 80% of the uh, salary that an employee would get to the maximum of two and a half thousand pounds per month. Now it's important to note that from what I understand about this, uh, this is people that you would let go who are not working. So if they are working, in other words, if they continue to work in your business and you pay them, then in fact you are due, you are paying them. In other words, this is people that you, who have, you would make redundant and they end up not working, they can claim up to 80% of that. Uh, another point with this is that it's from what we can see it's possible also to reduce the amount that you would pay somebody so that the 20% becomes a little bit less uh, so this might be a negotiation with the, the various employee that you want to keep so look well, I can't afford uh, ABC whatever it is uh, but I can afford this and the government will pay you up to 80% uh, of that now at present, the government are building a portal, which means that you will uh, have to put the information in to reclaim this money. Right now, it's not there. So I believe that you're going to have to prepay this and then reclaim it. So you're still going to have a cash flow issue. And that's something to take into account when you're talking to the employee. Uh, and bear in mind, this is all happening so fast that you know it might come all out and be very different to what I'm saying here. But this is, as it stands right now, what, what we can see. Uh, there's a deferring of VAT and income tax payments. So uh, VAT, there's a three month deferring of that. So that's uh, giving you some help with cash flow. And for those of you that are self-employed, there's a, uh, uh, a deferment of self-assessment from uh, July until January 2021. Uh, there's statutory sick pay relief for up to two weeks. So the statutory sick pay you would pay to you, to your employee for up to a couple of weeks if they happen to be ill, you can claim that back. So as opposed to ordinary way you'd pay the statutory sick pay, you can get a, a refund of that. There's a 12-month business rate holiday for all retail, hospitality, leisure, nursery and businesses in England. Uh, there's also a, a grant, and I don't know if the, I'm confusing these two, uh, so I'll come on to that in a moment. There's two types of grant. There's a small business grant funding of up to £10,000 for all businesses in receipt of small business rate relief or rural rate relief. And then there's grant funding of £25,000 for retail, hospitality and leisure businesses with a property with a rateable value of between fifteen and £51,000. So my reading of that is this is in addition to uh, the business rate relief. I might be wrong, but I think it is. Uh, then there's a business, uh, coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, which is available up to £5 million pounds for SMEs through the business, uh, through, the, uh, through the British Business Bank. Uh, and if I understand this correctly, uh, the government will guarantee up to 80% of that loan, so you will be on the hook for 20% of that loan, and it's interest-free for up to 12 months. Now, whether that's interest and capital repayment or interest, I don't know, but you'll just be on, on, on the hook for that. Uh, so that gives you a, a bit of an overview. Now, what, what, what I, what I uh, would be thinking about here is all of these reliefs sound really, really very, very good. And I think the government are doing a fantastic job of trying to keep business up and running and going and being ready for when we're, we're back, when, we're, when we're going again. But if I was you, I would be planning on your business as though this money is not coming in. Uh, because A, I think it's going to take a long time to come. It could be several months in, in coming out to you. So what are you going to do between now and then? Uh, so I'd, I'd be making your decisions and thinking about business as though you weren't going to get it. And then when it comes in, it's a big bonus. Now, obviously, 
that's not strictly true if, for example, you have a key employee that you want to keep on and you definitely need to keep them, then there's obviously going to be some type of negotiation somehow just to keep them going. I think people are reasonable in these circumstances when they recognise uh, that, you know, what other option have you got? I mean, you're in it just like they're in it. So uh, it's a time for talking, sitting them down, talking about the big picture, the opportunities, I mean, some of the ways you might think of is you might think, you know, to keep the retain in a special way that there's an opportunity for them in the future that perhaps they wouldn't have had now. I don't know. Just think a bit different. But then the other thing is, what can you do right now uh, with your services or skills or business uh, if your business is severely impacted uh, that could perhaps uh, operate in this environment? So that's thinking left field. Uh, I mean, I'm doing this with my business right now. I mean, I'm caught in the eye of the storm. We're selling travel insurance, and as you can imagine, there isn't a great deal of people buying travel insurance right now. But interestingly, there are still some, and we're the biggest player out there, and we're still turning over a, a fair amount of people buying travel insurance, which is qu quite astounding, really. So even if you find yourself uh, where it's dramatically reduced in terms of the... Uh, the amount of volume that's coming in, in a smart way, keep uh, keep your uh, keep your marketing out there that's perhaps on demand. In other words, you only pay for it when it comes in. Perhaps that's something I'll talk about separately. But anyway, just just really think about uh, what you could do that's different to anything else uh, to, to your to your normal business, and and adapt, and then. Great that this money is going to come in, but don't rely on it in the short term. You need to be able to think about what you could, what else you can do in the short term while their government gets their act together to be able to get this out and distribute it to the businesses that are out there. Anyway, good luck. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you'll, I'm sure you're going to get through it, but you've just got to be positive. Okay, thank you.